number one and two is your boy, the SRT God. I'm back on your screen with another one, man. Man. Man, oh man. I'm going to be straight up forward with you guys on this one. I'm going to be straight up legit with you guys on this one. Um, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, the Hellcat is leaving. The Hellcat is sold. The Hellcat is going bye-bye. Um, for multiple different reasons. There's reasons for it, and I'm going to explain this to you guys. I'm going I'm to break it down with you guys right now of why I'm getting rid of the Hellcat. All right. Am I getting rid of the Hellcat because I don't like it? Nope. Am I getting rid of the Hellcat because I can't afford it? Nope. Am I getting rid of the Hellcat because any other reason someone's going to come up with? Nope. I'm getting rid of the Hellcat for business reasons. I bought this Hellcat. Y'all see me buy this. Y'all saw my tube. It's on my, it's on my channel. Y'all were here with me when I bought it. Now it's time to sell it and it's sold. It didn't take long at all to sell it, which I already knew that was going to happen. I got what I, um, for the most part, I got what I wanted for it. All right. I'm not going to be real with you guys. Yes, the car market is higher than normal. But at the same time, this car was specific for certain people, not for everybody. That in itself changes the value of the car. The value of the car actually goes down. Being plain up honest with you guys. Matter of fact, from my understanding, the person that bought this car is actually taking the wrap off. It's not for them. They love the car. Just the wrap is not for them. All right, guys. So as I was saying, this is a business move. Um, could I afford this car and another car that I'm getting? Yes, I could. But I don't want to be strapped because of vehicles, right? So I have to do these moves in order to elevate myself and get bigger and better things than what I have now. Um, as you guys will see, you'll see why I, I sold my car, why I'm doing what I'm doing and so forth down the line. This is all a journey. And that's what I want you guys to understand is that when you guys, have, the people that have been following me from day one have followed my journey on this whole process. And I've said it over and over and over again, that I have a journey and I have a method and I have a plan and I, I'm already planning for next year. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't, don't plan like that. I'm making moves now for next year late next year so that's why i'm making my moves now and so that it can benefit me down the road i have plans i have five-year plans i have 10-year plans i have this stuff in my mind and written down that i have to do and i want to get to so in order for me to do that and to grow my channel and to do other things we got to kind of swift a little bit we got to move around a little bit we got to do different things so with all that being said this is gonna be my last ride in the Hellcat. I love the Hellcat. Um, I really wouldn't change any way that I did this. Um, does it suck that I gotta get rid of it? Yeah, but you guys gotta to understand too that these cars were all fucking temporary. I have been in interviews and in you know questions and stuff like that about am I ever gonna get rid of my Hellcat? And I always said no. That's facts. I said, I, I always said, no, I'm not gonna get rid of it. It's something that's my brand and it's something that um, has been building me and my companies and everything but sitting down with my advisors and sitting down with the people that that are, are shifting my money and stuff around they it, it, it just made more sense for me to get rid of this now i can always go buy a hellcat right i can always go buy one i can always do what i want with it and so forth down the line but business move wise and and money wise and everything that's in between i had to do this move um I just had to. So it, it is what it is. Um, am I am I mad about it? No. Am I sad about it? It's bittersweet. But this is the all process, and I want you guys to understand and watch my process. And as, as time goes on, it's not going to happen tomorrow. Uh, but as time goes on, you guys are going to see the process of why I did this and making these moves that I'm making. Not everything is on camera, guys. So I really want you guys to understand that too. That. I don't, I don't put everything out here on camera. Shit, I haven't dropped the video in a minute because I've just been busy doing other things. Um, my other jobs, I can't be filming um, those things because they're just not allowed and it's not worth my job and so forth down the line. So 
um, with, with that. So a lot of the stuff that I do besides the gym in this car aren't filmed. And um, that's gonna start changing um, eventually here. We're gonna start we're gonna start making some more content on different things. But right now this was the biggest move that I had to make. And that was to, to, to sell the Hellcat and get rid of it and get into something else. And I truly think that this channel really needs um, and myself, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to make um, this purchase. I've always wanted to make that move, but I just, um, I went with this instead, you know? So this has helped build me. I, I feel like my next purchase is gonna help build the channel and build my brand even more. We're gonna do some wild and out shit and it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be fun and, and it's gonna be wild. So I want you guys to understand and, and listen to everything that I'm telling you guys. You can you can hit the skip button, you can do whatever, but I'm, I'm feeding you guys gems to be truthfully honest with you. I'm gonna be truthfully honest with how this shit works. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a multi-millionaire. Um, I could afford multiple, I have multiple cars. I could have multiple car, big payments, uh, but it just doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? If it's not making dollars, it's not making sense. So, um, did my Hellcat make me money? Yep. It has. It has it grown my channel? Yes, it has. But at the same time, the car world is so saturated um, that right now, everybody and their brother's got a, a fucking Hellcat, right? So let's be honest. Everybody's got Hellcats. I love them. There's no dog on it, but everybody's got a fucking Hellcat. And that's why I, um, some of the reason of why I, I chose to get rid of this vehicle and not other ones was because... Man, once you see one fucking Hellcat, it's like you've seen them all, right? Is there a little tweak here, a little tweak there? Yeah, there is. But you can only do so much with it. You can only drag race it so much. You can only, and I never even fucking drove it. I never drag raced this car, matter of fact, which is kind of fucking weird. But I never was able to end up doing it just because I had my rear end problem. Um, I had my tire issue, my rear tire issues uh, when I went down to St. Louis. And then Kansas City, I was just too fucking nervous. Or, uh, where the fuck were we? Yeah, Kansas. Yeah, somewhere down there. I, yeah, Kansas, I think it was. I was just I was just nervous. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was, I was a pussy. I was whatever you wanna call it. But I was nervous to run this down the track because I was brand new to the car. I literally had drove it from Arizona over. And I was nervous. So I didn't, I never, never drove, drove, I never drag raced it. Um, but I can tell you one thing right now, the next vehicle that I'm gonna be ordering here we're drag racing that bitch. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the video, see what's going down, see uh, what I'm gonna be ordering and so forth down the line. So let's get our asses to where we gotta drop this off, get in my other ride, and get to the dealership. All right, let's go. Yeah! All right guys, as you guys can see, y'all see what this is, man. 2022 TRX Dodge. They're gonna look just like this. I am one excited dude. As you guys know, as I said before, the car is gone. The Hellcat is officially not mine. Um, I wanted the TRX, guys. So basically, what the reason I wanted to do that is because there's not a lot of people on YouTube that is messing around with them. And I have a lot in store and a lot of plans with this truck. I have contacted the people that I need to contact already. They're already well aware of it. <clears throat> so there's going to be some big partnerships coming up with this TRX. I'm super fucking excited. I wanted the one last year when they came out with it. But I was kind of talked out of it. Let the bugs worked out. So I went with this year. This is the year I want to do it 2022. When I tell you guys business moves... This is a business move. And what I tell you about this is because you're going to get the people that are going to run their mouth, talk their shit, whatever. But this is straight facts. My financial guy said, hey, listen, you guys need to make a fucking move on something. You you have to, you need more write-offs. You need this, you need that, right? So now I can have another write-off on a vehicle. The reason I went with the truck, the TRX, was because I wanted a truck. I've always wanted a truck. I've had um, XL USV uh, SUVs, you know, Denali XLs. I've had those. I've had this, but I've never actually owned a pickup. Is this a pickup? No. Is it better than a pickup? Yes. But I was I was in this position of where I could get it and where I needed to be to get it. But 
I had to order it. Um, so I ordered the top of the line TRX 2022. It literally has everything that you possibly can get except for a few things that I really didn't want because it's not gonna really do me anything because I need the, the, the back space. Um, I need the bed, I need that room for um, the things that I got coming down the line for next year. So to haul, I needed that space. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm super excited to work with a dealership um, in the state. I didn't have to go out of state to do it. I worked with a, 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 a dealership here in Minnesota um, that was willing to work with me and be able to um, get what I wanted, how I wanted it, where I wanted my numbers, um, discounted prices and all this and that. So I partnered up with them. I will lay that all out there when I get the truck. I will, you know, be videoing all of that. Um, the dealership of where I went, all that, because right now it doesn't really matter. Um, the truck is not in my hands yet. So when it's in my hands, the partnership begins, right? Um, so with that being said, the 2022 TRX is coming to the channel. A lot of people don't come on here and tell you guys way ahead of time. I'm doing so. Um, I'm telling you guys I got rid of the car. I'm telling you guys that I got the truck. I'm being being front up honest with you guys the reasons why I got rid of the car. Could I keep, like I said, I could keep both of them. Um, but that's just, honestly, in my opinion... I don't want to be too strapped down with two huge car payments. It's just not worth it to me. Um, I had fun in the Hellcat. I had a great time. I met a lot of people with it. And I'm still cool with all of those people. Um, it's, it's, it's gotten me my name out there. It's gotten to where I wanted it to be with it. And now it's time to move forward. Am I going to buy another Hellcat? Um, let's just say the dealership that I'm working with now is the dealership that I will be working with soon again. Um, we have a lot in store together. I'm very, very thankful and blessed to be able to work with this dealership. They're a very top Dodge dealership in the state. So they get a lot of bids on, on the on the vehicles um, brought to them. If, if You know, there's different tiers. Um, you got, you'll hear a lot about the tiers with dealerships. They're on the top dealer for um, the top tier for Dodge in Minnesota. So uh, I think they're actually like even in, maybe even in the Midwest. I don't know that 100%, but I know that they get a lot of cars that a lot of dealerships, your normal Dodge dealerships wouldn't get. So I'm very blessed to be able to, to be partnered up with these guys and working with these guys. And like I said, they will be on my video once my truck comes and all that. And uh, we do, you know, we do a fucking take and delivery of it. So you guys make sure you guys keep a tab on that. Um, that will be coming. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos in the gym um, with a lot of other people. So, because obviously right now I don't have a car that, I mean, I have the slingshot that we've been, that we've been doing stuff too, but it's going to be coming winter here pretty soon. So it's kind of one of those things where the slingshot is, you know, here and there or there. But I got a lot of plans with the slingshot as well for next year. It's going to be fun. Um, there's a few people that have been running around buying, not necessarily slingshots, but these other like Vanderbilts or something. So um, I have a feeling that that's going to be a big thing coming up at these YouTube call outs and car shows. Um, I've already been in talks with a few people that have the Vanderbilts. And um, as long as we get it okayed, you might, see, you might see the slingshot out on the, on the drag strip. And that's no bullshit. Um, that's, that's true facts and it'll be on the back of the TRX. So what more can you ask for? Um, but that's where I'm at right now, guys, with this whole situation with the car and everything. I know people are going to be like messaging me and all this other shit. It's cool. Um, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just blessed to be able to be able to, in my opinion, I'm upgrading, right? To me, it's an upgrade. So some people are gonna be like, oh, he's downgrading, he can't afford it, he can't do this, but I'm just being true facts, man. I could afford both, but it just didn't, it just didn't work in my favor to do so. It didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? I can't drive my car, my Challenger in Minnesota. So in the wintertime, I can't drive it. So I'm, it's parked for five, six months sometimes. Shit, the last time I had it, I didn't even have it for like six months. So you're paying on something that's not making you any money. It just doesn't make sense. So 
like I told you guys from before, the people that have started with me from day one on this channel to now, you're seeing my journey. And I told you guys, stick with me. I have a journey. I have a plan. And I want you guys to understand, anybody can do this shit, man. I'm just your normal dude that works his ass off and, and gets what he wants, when he wants, and how he wants because I fucking work. Anybody can do what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not a fucking multimillionaire. So I don't care what people say, oh, he's got money. Dude, y'all can do this shit too. I got money because I fucking work. You know what I'm saying? So just just reach your dreams and goals, man. Put put down what you want to do for next year and fucking get them. That's what I'm already doing. Like I told you guys, I'm already planning for next year. I'm already planning for next fall already. You know what I mean? So you have to, you have to manifest in this shit. You have to fucking... Be already up in that, man. Be already fucking in that position right now of where you're going to be next September. You're going to get farther in life, man. I promise you. But anyways, with that, guys, the TRX is coming to the motherfucking channel. I'm super excited about it. And let's continue on the day. And let's go.